Namaste and welcome again to this course on Introduction to Basic Spoken Sanskrit. Before we move on with this lecture, I'd just like to check that you have been practicing sufficiently with what you have already learned. Um, the, I'd just like to share with you about the process of learning and how it is related to the way our brain uh, learns things. So every time you get a new piece of information, there are two neurons that get fired and there is a neural pathway that is formed. The more often you think of it or the more often you apply it, the more that pathway gets strengthened. The more that pathway is strengthened, the better that piece of information will stick in your brain and in your memory. So, considering this is spoken Sanskrit, the more you practice it, the more you are ready to play around with this language, the better it will be become part of your own system and the more joy you will experience from the power of this language uh, that is there. So moving on to the lesson for today, we are looking at lecture number 15 and it is an introduction to the instrumental or the third case as you can see on the screen now. And the objectives of this case of this particular session is to learn the instrumental or the third case and then to see some related applications especially with the question katham which is how but it also can mean by what or with what as we will see and then to understand the context in which this is used. I will also do a little revision of the verbs so that you know uh, it's something that you can have as a stock to apply in your daily context. So coming to the definition the instrumental case or the karana karaka, karana in Sanskrit means the instrument. So it is the karaka or the case which is the one to do with the instrument, uh, instrumental. And this is also known as the tritya vibhakti or the third case. Now the instrumental case or tritya vibhakti of the noun form represents the instrumental form in the sentence. The answer that comes from the question by what or with what is the instrument in the sentence. The instrument is with what the subject or karta is doing something. The instrument is independent of the number and gender of the subject or object. So for example, I say, uh, I will, will look into it. I will move on with the definition, the first definition and then I will come to examples. So we have the third case of Tritya Vibhakti and the first and the most widely used application of this case is that it is the word expressing by what or with what pertaining to the verb. This will be in the instrumental case. So as you can see the questions that we have already looked at is how or by what or with what. Katham in Sanskrit. So we are first going to look at the third case of the nouns and pronouns and in the masculine, feminine and the neuter. So starting with the third case of the nouns in the masculine and fortunately it's the identical form in the neuter case. So we have hastaha asti, hastaha asti, khadami, khadami, hastena khadami, hastena khadami, katham khadami, katham khadami, hastena khadami, hastena khadami. Do you get that? So, I eat with my hand. With my hand or with hand is hastena. So, in your sentence, I eat with hand. I eat with what? With hand. So, therefore, the word hand will get the instrumental case. So, hastena khadami. Chamasaha asti. Chamasena khadami. Katham khadami, chamasena khadami. Uttamam, bhavan or bhavati, katham khadati, hastena khadati, chamasena khadati. Aham, hastena or chamasena khadami. Uttamam, chashakaha asti, chayam pibami. Chashakaha asti, chayam pibami. Complete that. Chashakena chayam pibami. Chashakena chayam pibami. So chashakaha, chashakena, hastaha, hastena. All right. So will you try and make a sentence with chashakena? What all can you drink with chashakaha? 
So try. I'll give you an example. I'll say chashakaha chayam pibami. Say it. Chashakena chayam pibami. Chashakaha kofim pibami. Chashakena kofim pibami. Chashakaha jalam pibami. Chashakena jalam pibami. Uttamam. So just one thing that you need to remember is you have the glass and you are having uh, let's say coffee. Huh? So you're saying I drink coffee with the glass. So you clap the prepositions with the glass together and that gets chashakena, the instrumental case we are looking at. And I drink what? Coffee. So coffee is the object of my action of drinking and therefore coffee will get the object case. Uttamam. So we have aham coffeem. Chashakeen pibami. The order doesn't matter. So you can say aham kofim chashakeen pibami or aham chashakeen kofim pibami. It will not matter. Now uh, moving on, let's just see some examples there. So chashakaha, chashakaha becomes chashakeena. Chamasaha, chamasena. Purushaha, Purushena. Now, why have I put Purushena there? Because you can see that the N is not the same. With Chashakena, you have a dental N. Huh? Whereas with the Purushena, you have a N, which is a cerebral N, a N sound, nasal sound. And why is that difference? Now, that difference comes about when in the vicinity of the N sound, there are cerebral sounds. So you have puru, which is a cerebral sound, and the sh, which is also a cerebral sound, very close to the n, and therefore the n will change into also a cerebral n sound. This is just a specification, don't worry about it. I just thought I would mention it in case you had a doubt when looking at the two n's and it created a confusion in your mind. So, purushaha, purushena. Aham purushena uh, krida me. I play with the man. Aham purushena uh, chalana chitram pashya me. I watch the movie with the man. Okay. And you can have many others as we will practice. Shikshakaha shikshakena. Sahodaraha sahodarena. Margaha margena. Margena. Naraha. Nare na Balakaha Balake na Putraha Putre na Chatraha Chatre na Siutaha, which is a bag Siute na Janakaha Janake na Uttamam. So maybe you would just like to try practicing making one sentence or two sentences with Aham Janake na with my father Kim Karoti. So, aham janakena duradarshanam pashyami, for example, or aham janakena sanskritam vadami, I speak Sanskrit with my father, aham janakena sanskritam vadami. So, janakena kim karoti, what all do you do with your father or if you have a brother, sahodarena kim karoti, so see if you can think of a sentence or two. Alright, moving on. Let's look at some more exercises on that. So, chamasaha bhojanam. And then we build the sentence. Aham chamasena bhojanam karomi. Got that? Now, for you to fill up the rest. So, dandaha means a stick. Kridam karomi. So, the fill in the blanks will be with aham and the first word here dandaha and then krida and then karomi. So, that's the regular format you have. Okay. So, uh, dandaha kridam. Make the sentence. Aham dandena kridam. It's the object. Karomi. Uttamam. Next one. Tandulaha odanam. Aham tandulena odanam karomi. Uttamam. Next one. Kurchaha. Br uh, paintbrush. Kurchaha chitralekhanam. Painting. Aham kurchena chitralekhanam karomi. Uttamam. Let's move on. 
So we have uh, Kankatam Kesha Prasadanam Kankatam Kesha Prasadanam Aham Kankatena Kesha Prasadanam Karomi Kankatam Kankatena Phenakam Phenakena Karavyajanam Karavyajanena Mitram Mitrena Aham Mitrena uh, Kolkatam Gachami Aham uh, Bhavan Mitrena or Bhavati Mitrena Kim Karoti Uttamam So Mitram Mitrena Chalana Chitram Chalana Chitrena Pushpam Pushpena Jalam Chalena uh, Phenakam Phenakena Moving on Let's do some exercises. We have Phalam Phalena Pushpam Pushpena Mitram Mitrena Chitram Chitrena Dhanam Dhanena So with money Dhanena Kim Kim Krinati What all can you buy with Dhanam? Dhanena Kim Kim Krinati And more importantly Dhanena Kim Kim Na Krinati What are the things that you can't buy in life with money? Okay, that's worth thinking about Next, Patram Patrena Vastram Vastrena Pustakam Pustakena Vimanam Vimanena Penakam Penakena Vyajanam Vyajanena Yanam Yanena Astu, so Yanena Kutra Kutra Gachati Where all will you go with the car? Vadatu Bhavan Yanena Kutra or Bhavati Yanena Kutra Kutra Gachati Aham Yanena um, Digham Gachami Digha is a, is a nice kind of a beach resort here So Aham Digham Gachami Aham Yanena Pondicherim Gachami Aham Yanena Dehlim Gachami Aham Yanena Griham Gachami Bhavan or Bhavati Yanena Kutra Kutra Gachati Alright I hope you've got an answer or two now, what I'd like you to remember when you're doing this, uh, learning of this case is to associate it with this action. So, yanam, yanena, purushaha, purushena, uh, balakaha, balakena, vimanam, that's the plane, vimanam, vimanena, uttamam, and that's the action with it. All right, so let's do a few exercises. Phenakam, vastra prakshalanam, phe aham, Phena ke na vastra prakshalanam karomi prakshalanam karomi uttamam So I wash my clothes with the soap Next danta phena kam huh? So danta phena kam was danta phena kam danta dhavanam is to brush Make the sentence Aham danta phena ke na danta dhavanam Karo me. Uttamam. Next one. Kankatam Kesha Prasadanam. Aham Kankatena Kesha Prasadanam. Karo me. Uttamam. Lokayanam is the. So, Yanam is a private car. And when many people, it's a car of many people, then it is a Lokayanam, which is the bus. So, Lokayanam Prayanam. Make the sentence Aham Loka Yanena Prayanam Karomi Uttamam Astu. So, just to try and summarize the masculine and the neuter cases in a nutshell Purushaha Purushena Bhavati, or it becomes Phalam Phalena. Okay, so. Before we continue, I also had a certain proposition for you that uh, maybe now that you have been doing there more than halfway, we are almost nearing the end of the course, maybe I can slowly start talking to you a little more in Sanskrit as I instruct you with the new things we are learning. Astu, okay, is that fine with you? Let's give it a shot. Tari, idanim. Sri Linga Padani Pashyamaha Idanim 
strilinga padani pashyama. So let's look at the feminine case here. Let's do an exercise and then I come back to that. Sthalika asti aham sthalikaya bhojanam swikaromi. With my I go to with my dish to the table and I said sthalikaya bhojanam swikaromi. Uh, mala asti uh, malaya malaya alankaram karomi I decorate so malaya alankaram karomi mala malaya sthalika sthalikaya so mala malaya sthalika sthalikaya amba am Ambaya, ambaya kim kim karoti, ambaya, ba, uh, ambaya uh, apanam gachati, ambaya bhojanam karoti, bhavan or bhavati, ambaya kim kim karoti, chintayatu vadatu cha. Astu, so moving on, uh, let's look at the next part of this, let's do some practice, so we have Sthalika, sthali, ya. So, I would really suggest that you exaggerate. So, if you show me on the screen there, then you will see how it is exaggerated. Huh? So, sthalika is like a big sound, long vowel and it's sthali, ka, ya. Huh? So, the a drops and the ya is added on to it. Alright. So, try and, um, try and do it in an exaggerated manner and you are sure to have a better grip of the sounds of the words, different words and the way they decline etc. Sthalika, sthalikaya, mala, malaya. So if you can see the screen now again, then you will see the different words that are there. Alright. So we have uh, sthalika, sthalikaya, mala, malaya, mahila, mahilaya, Shikshika, shikshikaya, amba, ambaya, churika, churikaya, balika, balikaya, dvichakrika, which is a cycle, dvichakrikaya, nauka, naukaya, chhatra, chhatraya, kunchika, kunchikaya, Kripa, Kripaya. So, the last one I have put it on the screen there is Kripa, Kripaya. Now, that is one way by which you can remember what happens to the third person feminine. And how do you remember? You just need to remember any one word and its form. And then you would know that it is applicable across all words and for all times to come. So, you need to put in that little investment to just take one word and store that very well in your memory. So, for the third person feminine, the easiest word to remember is kripaya, which is please. But it has become an equivalent of please. What it literally means is kripa is compassion. Kripaya means with compassion. So, when you are requesting somebody to do something for you, it's you are asking that person to help you with compassion. So, kripaya sahayam karotu or kripaya lekhanim dadatu, anything. Okay, so that's how you can remember. Remember kripa, kripaya, and you would know the third person feminine in uh, the, the third case of nouns for the feminine words ending with a. Let's move on. Uh, let's look at some words with the E. So, what happens? It keeps the same forms as we have seen. So, lekhani, lekhanya likhami. Lekhani asti, lekhanya likhami. Next, kupi asti, kupya jalam pibami. Kupya jalam pibami. Katham jalam pibami. Kupya jalam pibami. Katham, you see, remember the question, Katham jalam pibami iti. Astu, agre pashyamaha, agre, next, pashyamaha, we will see. Duravani, duravanya, duravanya, that is the action. 
ದೂರವಾಣಿ ದೂರವಾಣ್ಯ ನಾರಿ ನಾರ್ಯ ಲೇಖನಿ ಲೇಖನ್ಯ ಅಂಕನಿ ಅಂಕನ್ಯ ಮಾರ್ಜನಿ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇರೇಸರ್ ಮಾರ್ಜನಿ ಮಾರ್ಜನ್ಯ ನರ್ತಕಿ ನರ್ತಕ್ಯ ಪುತ್ರಿ ಪುತ್ರ್ಯ ಪತ್ನಿ ಪತ್ನ್ಯ ಸಹೋದರಿ ಸಹೋದರ್ಯ ದ್ರೋಣಿ ದ್ರೋಣ್ಯ ನದಿ ನದ್ಯ ಆಲ್ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಯು ಟು ಟ್ರೈ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಅ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಹೋದರಿ ಯೋರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಸೊ ಸಹೋದರ್ಯ ಕಿಮ್ ಕಿಮ್ ಕರೋತಿ ವಟ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಡೂ ವಿತ್ ಯೋರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಕ್ರೀಡತಿ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ನಾವು ಐ ಪ್ಲೇ ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಸಹೋದರ್ಯ ಕ್ರೀಡಾಮಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ಅನ್ಯತ್ ಕಿಮ್ ಕರೋತಿ ಲಾಫ್ ವಿತ್ ಯೋರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಸೊ ಹಸತಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಧಾತು ಅಹಂ ಸಹೋದರ್ಯ ಹಸಾಮಿ ಹಾ 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 ಇತಿ ಅಸ್ತು ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆನ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ದ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಡೂ ಸಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಸಸ್ ದೇ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಮ್ ಮಾರ್ಜನಿ ಸೊ ಮಾರ್ಜನಿ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇರೇಸರ್ ಸಮ್ ಮಾರ್ಜನಿ ಇಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಸ್ವೀಪ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಸೊ ಸಮ್ ಮಾರ್ಜನಿ ಪ್ರತಿದಿನ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛತಾಂ ಸೊ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛತಾಂ ಇಟ್ ಕುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛತಾಂ ದೇರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಹಂ ಪ್ರತಿದಿನ ಸಮ್ ಮಾರ್ಜನ್ಯ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛತಾಂ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛತಾಂ ಕರೋಮಿ ಸೊ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಐ ಕ್ಲಿ ವಿತ್ ದ ಬ್ರೂಮ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ಶ್ಯೋರ್ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ಲಿನೆಸ್ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅ ಬಿಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛತಾ ಮಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ನಾವು ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಮೋಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ದಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕೀಪ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಶ್ಯೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಯು ಆರ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡಸ್ಟ್ಬಿನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ್ ದೇ ಸೇ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹೌ ಡು ಯು ರಿಫೈನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಂ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೇ ಆಫ್ ರಿಫೈನಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಿಸಿಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಸೇ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದ ಈವನ್ ದ ಬ್ರೆತ್ ವಿಲ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ವಾವಲ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹೌ ಡು ಯು ಇರೇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಆಲ್ ದ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಲಿ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊನೌನ್ಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ನೆಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ ರಿಫೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೂ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ and uh, therefore i think this whole in- initiative of swachhata cleanliness is not just an external factor which it very much should be but it is also a matter of cleaning up the mind cleaning up the emotions cleaning up the body cleaning up all aspects of our life once all that is clean whatever is expressed will also have a certain cleanliness so this is just a bit uh, an associated aspect of sanskrit learning and i hope that uh, the experience of learning this language also uh, brings into your awareness the importance of all these other aspects of our life so coming back to the lesson itself we have churika which is the knife and shaka kartanam now using the first model sentence we'd say aham churi kaya shaka kartanam shaka kartanam means uh to have um, uh, to cut vegetables all right shaka is vegetables kartanam to cut so shaka kartanam karomi the next one is mapika mapika is a ruler or a scale so aham mapikaya mapanam is to measure so with a scale you will measure so aham mapikaya ಮಾಪನಂ ಕರೋಮಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪ ಲೇಖನಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪತ್ರ ಲೇಖನ ಇಸ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಅಹಂ ಲೇಖನ್ಯ ಪತ್ರ ಲೇಖನ ಕರೋಮಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕರ್ತರಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ
narya so just moving on we'll do a we'll look at the pronouns so aham becomes maya so if somebody uh, comes with me or somebody is uh, doing something with me it becomes maya uh, maya let's say somebody is going with me to the shop so saha maya with me apanam kachati saha maya apanam kachati with you twaya saha twaya apanam kachati saha twaya apanam gachati next one bhavata means bhavan with you masculine respect becomes bhavata so, bhavata apanam gachati bhavata apanam gachati and with the feminine it becomes bhavatya apanam gachati bhavatya apanam gachati I want to draw your attention to the precision of sound again because you have three sounds which are very similar. You have bhavatyaha, meaning your bhavatyaha nama kim. Next, you have this which is bhavatya gachami, means I am going with you, lady, feminine, I mean lady with respect. And then you have the other one which is bhavatyaha. So bhavatya bhavatya bhavati 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 many ladies bhavatya mahilaha bhavatya mahilaha all right so you have these differences yeah so coming on to the third person we have saha becomes tena eshaha becomes etena and kaha becomes kena so kena apanam gachati tena apanam gachati tena janakena so with the father tena janakena apanam gachati let's move on to the feminine sa sa becomes taya sa taya esha etaya esha etaya and question ka kaya Kaya apanam gachati, supposing you go with your mother. Kaya apanam gachati. Ambaya apanam gachami. Ambaya apanam gachami. Alright, so we've looked at the masculine and the neuter here. Both tat, saha and tat become tena. Similarly, eshaha and etat become etena. Kaha and kim become kena. And the feminine we have just seen. So, uh, we'll just do an exercise with the second rule here, which says that if the indeclinable saha, sakam, sardham, samam, meaning with or along with, are used, then the words governed by these will be in the instrumental case. Aham mitrena saha or sakam or sardham, samam, parati dinam bhojanam karomi. I'll just make that sentence simply for you. Aham mitrena saha bhojanam or prati dinam bhojanam karomi have you got the meaning i with my friend every day pratidinam bhojanam food karomi i do okay so i'd like to invite uh, uh, piyush on again and just have a small dialogue to demonstrate how this is used namaste namaste sarvam kushalam am sarvam kushalam uttamam adya avam Trithiya vibhaktim pashyamaha. Adya vayam trithiya vibhaktim pashyama. Astu. Tari. Bhavan mitrena saha kim kim karoti. Aham mitrena saha udhyanam gachami bhojanam karomi likhami cha. Uttamam. Anantaram bhavan janakena saha kim karoti. Aham grihe janakina saha duradarsanam pasyami apanam gachami grihakaryam upi karomi. Acha, kena saha karoti grihakaryam. Janakina saha uttamam. Ambaya saha cha. Ambaya saha api. Am. Uttamam, uttamam. Anantaram bhavan dvichakrikaya. Bhavataha dvichakrika asti. Am. Mama asti. Dvichakrikaya. कुत्र कुत्र गच्छति अहम् 
chhatravasam gachami apanam gachami astu so this is a thing that you have to be careful of so when you're making a sentence and you're practicing and you're learning make sure that you are repeating the form that we're learning so if you are asked bhavan dvi chakri kaya kutra kutra gachati then make sure you are repeating this particular word because that will give you a certain practice so let's try that bhavan dvi chakri kaya kutra kutra gachati aham dvi chakri kaya apanam udyanam chhatravasam gachami astu uttamam astu dhanyavadah dhanyavadah so in the third rule here we have that if the words antarena or vina meaning without are used then the words governed by it will be in the instrumental case for example shikshak shikshakena vina or antarena vidya nasti there is no knowledge without a teacher we looked at this earlier so i'll just run through it we can just do some practice so aham ambam vina or ambaya vina bhojanam na karomi i've left a gap there because it's up to you to fill in the blanks and uh, practice in this case next aham mitram what will it become aham mitram or mitrena antarena vidyalaya i have written because it will become vidyalayam na gachami now you can cut out this whole vidyalayam na gachami and replace it with whatever you want so aham mitrena antarena what do you not do na kridami na khadami na uh, na gachami na whatever you want so practice there next jalam or jalena vina na jivati what doesn't live without water matsyaha so jalam or jalena vina matsyaha na jivati next one ishwaraha ishwaram the third case would be ईश्वरेण अंतरेण सृष्टि नास्ति दिस नो क्रिएशन मे बी अगेन अ डिबेटेबल इश्यू बट फॉर ग्रामर सेक इट हेल्प्स अस टू बी एबल टू यूज द करेक्ट फॉर्म एंड लाइक वी कंक्लूड इन एवरी सेशन वील सी द सुभाषित दट टॉक्स अबाउट दिस सो वी हैड दानेन पाणीर न तो कंकणेन स्नान शुद्धि न तो चंदन मन तृप्ति न तो भोजन ज्ञानन मुक्ति न तो मुंडन हर इट्स वॉट डज इट्स ए द हैंड पानी बाय गिविंग द हैंड इज अडोन्ड हा नॉट विद द ब्रेसलेट सो दानन पानीर न तो कंकणेन next what gives us cleanliness snanena shuddhi so with a bath not by applying sandal paste not all this perfume and all that we are using today ha to snanena shuddhi it is only with a bath that we are clean not by using perfume and perfumed sandal next manena tripti manam means your self esteem so when do you get satisfaction with self esteem not with eating a lot na to bhojanena and finally when do you get liberation or enlightenment jnanena muktir na tu mundanena it's not only with the show of shaving off your head or you know putting on certain colored garbs and all that will give you the liberation one has to have the knowledge and that will be liberating in itself so let's do this i'll sing it once you sing after me and then we'll do it together dane na paner na tu kankane na स्नान शुद्धिर्न तो चंदन मन तृप्तिर्न तो भोजन ज्ञान मुक्तिर्न तो मुंडन उत्तम कैन वी डू दैट टुगेदर दान पाणेर्न तो कंकण स्नान शुद्धिर्न तो चंदन मन तृप्तिर्न तो भोजन ज्ञान मुक्तिर्न तो मुंडन
that's not just food for thought, but it is also a lot to uh, try and implement in one's daily life. So I like to close this session as we always do with a quote on Sanskrit and this one is by Sir Mirza Ismail and it says that if Sanskrit would be divorced from the everyday life of the masses of this country, a light would be gone from the life of the people and the distinctive features of Hindu culture which have won for it an honoured place in world thought would soon be affected to the great disadvantage and loss both of India and of the world. Again, something to think about, uh, the role that Sanskrit has played. But uh, there's just one note here, I have, uh, he talks about the Hindu culture. When we talk of the Hindu culture, we're really referring to the ancient Indian civilization where a lot of its uh, earlier thinkings and knowledge systems were recorded in Sanskrit. To that extent, it has not to do with the religious culture, it has to do more with the, the thought culture, the philosophical ideas that underlay the civilization. So with these words, I'd encourage you once more to keep up the practice Sanskritam vadatu vadizutu adhikam vadatu sarvatra vadatu tasya labham anubhavantu experience its benefits and then you will be inspired to study it further more seriously. Dhanyavadaha.